Y'all ready? Oh, okay. Because I'm waiting on you guys. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl, Katrina. Happy New Year's to you all. Welcome back. If this is your first time here, welcome. You've come to the right place. So last year, as promised, I told you guys I was going to be telling you how to start your own Etsy shop. Now, I know I have a lot of new people on my channel that are new to crafting, want to start their own business, don't know which platform to use, don't know which one is the best right fit for them. But guess what? Etsy is a great option if you want to start your own home based business, especially if you are good with making products with your own hands. So today's video is coming in hot. I'm coming in at the new year so that way I can get you guys started, get you guys up and running on how to start and grow your own Etsy shop. This will be a series on different things pertaining to Etsy, listings, SEOs, product shots, so much more, and anything else that you might need down the line, I'm going to help you with. But today, take the fear away, take the daunting out. I'm going to show you. It's easy i tell you i got you like the little kids say it's easy peasy lemon squeezy so i'm gonna show you not only how you can have etsy as your side hustle just bringing in some extra coins which is a good option but how you can eventually have etsy as your full-time income bringing in the big bucks so that's what you want you want to eventually get to a place where your etsy platform has grown and it surpasses whatever income you may potentially have now so if that's what you want, you definitely need to stay tuned. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel because I'm going to be bringing you so much more. I brought you a lot last year, but this year I'm going even bigger and I'm going harder. I'm going to be going live a lot more because I know you have so many more questions. If you want to grow your Etsy shop and if you want to grow Shopify and just start your own home-based business or just learn other tips and tricks on heat presses, other product reviews, sublimation, embroidery can't forget that white tone and transfer printers all those different things and more this is the place to be now what is Etsy you say so just to give you a brief overview of what Etsy is it's an e-commerce platform sort of like Amazon where millions of people already know and come to to purchase products and they know it's made by you so on Etsy you can sell handmade items handmade physically means something that you physically made yourself not something that you went out and purchased and reselling but you have to physically make it whether it's bath bombs whether it's shirts like I physically purchased a shirt but I physically put the design on it myself and now I'm selling it you can make cards you can make templates you can make tumblers like this tumbler I made the tumbler so you can make anything some people are so great and artistic you can make woodwork you can make frames you can make beautiful resin crafts listen whatever your heart's desire whatever your hands are gifted to do whatever you've been gifting away all these years as just gifts for friends and family stop it and now turning into a business and now you can sell it on Etsy for everyone else to enjoy and for you to make a profit off of. So that's what handmade items are. You can also sell digital products. Make something one time, create something one time, digitally upload it, sit back, and just have all the passive income come to you. So if you are good with creating files, SVGs, PNGs, clip arts, whatever it is, if you're, create, if you're great at designing things that other people can use and you can put it into a file, that's your digital downloads. Now, you can also sell vintage items. So the only thing with selling vintage items on Etsy is it has to be something 20 years or more to be considered vintage on Etsy. So vintage items are anything, collectibles, anything that you have, but as long as it's 20 years or older, you can call it a vintage item and sell it on Etsy. You can also sell craft supplies. So if you know how to make things um, that can be used as tools or ingredients or anything like that, you can have craft supplies, like the tumbler turners, those are craft supplies. The epoxy resin, if you know how to mix that, those are craft supplies. Anything that fits in the category of supplies that us crafters might need to use, you can sell it as a craft supply. The possibilities are endless on Etsy. So whatever category you see yourself best fitting into, that might be the option for you. Now you say, who am I? Who am I to be showing you all this? I'm just a hardworking single entrepreneur mom who quit her full-time job and now doing it all on my own at home. And you can too. So without further ado, let's jump into desktop mode and let's get started. 
So when you click the link down below in the description box, it'll bring you to a page that looks like this. You can open your very first Etsy shop and you can get your first 40 listings for free. Each listing after that will be 20 cents. Every time you list a new item, it will be 20 cents per listing. So as you see here, it says Etsy is the global marketplace for unique and creative goods where more than 34 million people shop for things they can't find anywhere else. That's because you are selling your special handmade custom one of a kind items on Etsy. So let's open a shop today and get started. So of course you will need to create an account. You'll need to sign in and I'm just going to sign in using a different account. So that way I can walk you through the entire process. So once you get to this page, you'll have to set up your shop preferences. First, you'll need to select your language, whatever language that you speak, whatever you want your shop language to be displayed in. We're going to keep it at English. Then you're going to come down and you're going to select your shop country. Whatever country you are shipping out from, you'll have that option to choose right here. Of course, the shop currency will coincide with your shop country. So I'm gonna keep all of that the same. Which of these best describes you? Selling is my full-time job. I sell part-time. I hope to sell full-time. So whichever one, I'm just gonna go ahead and say I sell part-time, but hope to sell full-time. Cause when you're first starting out, you wanna just get the feel of it. So I'm just gonna click that for right now. And then you're gonna click save and continue. You want to enter your shop name. So you want to have a nice little creative name, something catchy, but you need to check the availability and it can only be 20 characters long. So let's just see what name I can come up with real quick. Okay. So because I like bling, I just put bedazzled by K. I'm just putting that just, just for video purposes. Let's check the villa. Oh, and it's available the first time, but I wouldn't probably use that name, but this is just for the purposes of this video. So you need to pick some type of name that, that will represent you, that will represent what your shop is about and what you're selling. So we're going to go ahead with that, but dazzle by K, I like it. Save and continue. So now stock your shop, add as many listings as you can. 10 or more would be great to start. More listings means more chances of being discovered. So when you first open your shop, you want to have at least, I would say three items ready to go and list on your shop. But of course, the more, the better, but you can start off slow, work your way up and build. Like it says, the more items that you have ready to start listing out, that means the more and the faster it will take for your shop to be discovered so we're going to click add a listing and that means you do have to have photos ready to go you have to have your pictures ready to go to upload so that way you can start your shop you cannot move past the step unless you have product shots of whatever you're selling so for the purposes of this video i'm just going to click on one of my designs that i have already so my photo is uploading. So you want to make sure that the photo that you are listing is well lit. You want to make sure that people can see it. You want to make sure it's attractive. You want to make sure that, you know, it's actually showing off your product. Then you can come down here and you can adjust the thumbnail. The first picture you put in will be your display picture. So you can make it bigger. You can move it over because you really want people to see what it is that you're selling. So I'm just going to make it just a little bit bigger and I'm going to save it. But when they click on it, they'll get the full size image. Okay. So now you can add up to 10 photos. If it was a shirt that you're adding, then of course you can add the actual size charts. You know, you want to add, if it's something that you're selling that has front and back, you can do front and back pictures. You can do side angle pictures. See, it tells you all the different things, top angles. You want to make sure that you list enough photos that shows off the item. So just for an example, actually, since I have this photo right here, um, this is not the same mug, but a different mug. And you see how when this comes up, that means sometimes you need to increase the pixels. So I didn't edit this photo yet. So for the best quality photo, sometimes you'll get this message. You want to make sure that you have at least 2000 pixels. 
once you come in here you can actually crop the photo as well so this is the back side of the mug so if you are listing mugs then you can do a front side and you can do the back side if you have something on the back side of the mug so same thing goes with the t-shirt same thing goes with a frame or anything that you're selling you want to make sure that whatever you're selling if it has multiple sides you take pictures of every side to display all the features and details of that item so here's a front and back photo and you can actually crop it they give you different option sizes if you want to crop your photo so if i want to bring my photo in closer and change it to a one by one ratio i can click that save it and bring it in i always recommend that you keep the same size photo for everything in that listing so if i did that one to the second one i would definitely need to do it to the first one and now it brings the thumbnail in even closer so now everything is uniform which you'll be able to see once you create the listing and go to the page so now let's move on down if you had a video you would upload your video here let me just let you guys know adding a quick little five to ten second video of whatever item you're selling gets you more bonus points adding a five to ten second video which is all it really takes to your site it boosts the confidence in the buyer to actually buy from you because they can now physically see it anyone can you know put up a stock photo of something or a digital photo of something but if you have the actual video of the item that you're selling it just really drives more traffic and it builds more trust and confidence in the buyer in your item so as you see right here it says buyers are loving listing videos we know that shoppers are more likely to purchase an item if the listing includes a video. Cha-ching! And time I started doing that and adding vid videos to a lot of my listings. Listen, I started getting bestseller on some of my listings. So the videos really help. So now it's time to add a title to your listing. So since I am selling a gold bling mug, you want to make sure you describe it. So I'm just going to do this really quick, really short, just take you through all the different um, steps just to give you an idea of what you need to input into the actual listing. So for my title, I'm going to put bling gold mug. And then you can also add, you can add more than one but you have to think about what the customer is typing in when they're trying to find certain things so blingo mug custom gifts for mom afro girl mug teachers gifts i mean the possibilities are endless I don't remember off the top of my head what I actually put for this actual listing, but you get the gist. You just want to describe the mug in more than one way because you have to think about what would someone type in to find that. So if it's something that would be great for a gift idea, um, you want to put that in. Mother's Day gifts, if it's, especially if it's around that time, but that we get more into that like in later videos because that all has to deal with SEO, um, different things like that as well. So now who made the item? Of course, I did. It's a finished product and then you're going to click when did you make it it's made to order so now if this was a vintage item that you were listing then you would have to put the year when it was made you know different things like that so I'm just going to click made to order so now you want to type in for the category mugs and it will give you suggestions so once you start typing in it will bring in the type of mugs that it is so i'm just going to put in mugs because it's in the home and kitchen dining drinkware um things like that it is a ceramic mug so i'm going to type ceramic so for the graphics section there are no graphics that fit this category so i will leave that blank but if you have something that fits one of these categories that just helps in your search for um, Etsy to know where to actually put it so you can click off one of these if you want it to. The capacity for my mug is, I'm gonna put it in ounces and this is an 11 ounce mug. So if you're selling tumblers or whatever it is, you would wanna put that as well. That only displays if it's something that of course has ounces. 
it has a handle yes there's no manual is it insulated no dishwasher safe no because i have bling on it so if it was a regular mug with just you know sublimation then of course yes it would be dishwasher safe microwave safe yes now the primary color you can select here i'm just going to click gold now if you're selling something that has one color then you can click here but i'm going to go into the different variations normally i don't mess with this at all because if i'm listing t-shirts and i'm selling multiple color t-shirts under the same listing i never click it here i always put it under variations but i'll click gold right here since i'm only listing one product so now the next thing is under holiday if you're selling something specifically for christmas specifically for Halloween or as we know um, Valentine's Day is coming up specifically for Valentine's Day you definitely want to check it right here in this section so I'm gonna leave it blank because this mug can go for pretty much anything so now occasion pretty much the same thing if you're selling like bridal um, t-shirts or if you're selling you know um, cards for for baby showers whatever you're selling you want to check this category and make sure that it fits they have a wide variety wedding um section is really huge so you want to make sure if you're selling anything that will pertain to a wedding graduation engagement whether it's a divorce or a breakup you want to check here you want to click this option because it helps in the search for etsy so now here are your renewal options you have to decide whether you want your renewal to be automatic or you want it to be manual so if you're just starting out you might want to choose manual because sometimes you might not want to relist the item if it got no sales each renewal lasts for four months or until the listing sells out if you put that you had 20 t-shirts and your listing does well and it sells out before four months then it will either automatically renew once it expires or you would have to go back in and manually renew it so you just have to decide whether you want it automatically but every time you renew it it's 20 cents so now what type of product are you selling are you selling a physical product or a digital it can either it can only be either or so physical products of course are the things that you're physically selling the digital products are the digital downloads that you sell so now you have to input your description so now this is the part this is the box where you have to describe your product and you get to wow the customer this is your first your one impression to make on the customer that will make them buy your product what do you want it to say so i'm just going to type in a little something something here you can do a nice little welcome greetings some people actually have a format or a saying that they put at the beginning of every listing on their shop um, to keep it more structured and just to keep it you know basic welcome to my shop if you love bling you have arrived at the right place this custom golden mug, this custom golden bling mug will make heads turn. Okay. This mug has your, has your name on it. I'm going to make this short and sweet. This custom golden bling mug will make heads turn. If you love bling and sexy drinkware, this mug has your name on it. Now what's key is if you have an item that can be customized, you want to definitely include that in the description. I'm making my description really short and sweet, but my when I do bling, you know, of course they can choose their colors of the actual bling. So you want to make sure you let that be known to the buyer as well. I always include in my description, even though they'll see it at checkout, I always talk about um, the return policy and my shipping speeds. Yeah, so basically, welcome to my shop. If you love bling, you have arrived at the right place. Your first line should be a wow hitter, something that, you know, makes them want to read the rest. You can also state, please read full description if you have a long description, because some people do have really long descriptions, depending upon what you're selling. If the item is really detailed, you want to make sure that they have all the instructions, all the information. So this custom golden bling mug will make heads turn. If you love bling and sexy drinkware, this mug has your name on it this mug can be customized with your favorite bling colors and personalized with your name on it for a special touch i normally ship out within one to two business days you want to say not including weekends not including 
Mugs are to be hand washed only. You want to include, you know, if there's any type of instructions, wash instructions that goes for t-shirts and other things that need personal care as well because they do ask, how do you care for this item? Custom item, customized items are not available for return. So you definitely need to have that specified if you are selling something that you do not make returns on so once i engrave the names on these mugs i don't know if y'all saw that at the beginning there is a name there is a name there once i put that name on it it ain't no returning okay so that's your description and i always end my descriptions um with some saying about if they have any other further questions or comments or other customizations or if they have anything that they want to ask me they can reach out to me send me a message and i will respond so something short simple nice and sweet but you make sure you give a description of whatever you're selling now scrolling further down production partners i won't really go into that's more so if you're doing drop ship stuff like that but for today's um, video purposes we won't touch that so we do not need to add a production partner so now you can create sections in your listings so once you start having um, multiple listings you want to make sure you want to start grouping things into sections so say for instance you're selling t-shirts that have christmas designs then you have birthday designs then you have baby designs then you have halloween designs you want to put them into sections so that way if you have 20 30 40 listings when they come to your shop they'll be able to see everything but if i'm only looking for halloween shirts then i'll be able to just click that section and it'll bring up all your halloween listings so if you have candles with different fragrances each same thing if it's only for um christmas you have holiday candles then you have valentine's day candles you want to make sure you block it off into sections so that way they can have the option if they want to look at everything because some people do have hundreds of listings and it gets too overwhelming clicking every page so that's when you add your section listing right here so now you want to add tags You're, you have 13 spots to add tags and you do not get a lot of you know letter space so I'm going to put of course bling mugs first type that in hit enter I'm going to put um, gold mugs because it's a gold mug gold mugs then i'm going to put custom mugs this is all this comes into play i'm going to put um gifts for mom i'm going to put gifts for her personalized mugs so now again this is what people would be typing in when they come to etsy what would they type in if they're looking for this um then i'm gonna put sexy drinkware you can put that anniversary gifts you can put i mean you could put anything so i'm not going to fill it up but you could put christmas gifts you could put valentine's day gifts whatever it is that you want to type in that you think people are searching for this is the time where you tag it up make sure you fill it up as well and then you can also come back and change it i always change my tags that's a whole nother video you need to change your tags according to the season so that helps you get discovered as well materials what are you using so i am using rhinestones and pearls so i want to put that in so that's just what you want to include for your materials your tags and your sections scrolling down how much are you charging for your item so whatever your item is you want to think am i going to include the shipping price in the actual item as well so you might want to say all right this golden mug cost me such and such how much ever it costs you to purchase how much the the bling costs how much ever you want to make a profit of don't forget the etsy fee you gotta calculate all of that as well you gotta calculate the shipping boom i'm gonna just put thirty dollars for today's video thirty dollars for this mug and that's going to include shipping as well quantity how many do you have on hand i'm just going to click 10 for right now now skew that's optional i do not use skews you do not need skews for etsy it's basically for your inventory if you have a lot of inventory then you can use skews but i don't do that 
variations i believe they should have one more section but they only give you two sections so i'm going to go through variations for you and just kind of you know describe it just a little bit so add variations you can choose from all of these sections um because it you know depends on what you're selling you know if you're selling picture frames what dimensions are they if you're selling t-shirts you know what uh, depends on what you want to list because you only get two categories so for like say for instance if it's t-shirts color and size are normally my two variations they have to pick their color and they have to pick their size um so for my mugs I just choose, I always create a new variation, meaning I type in how I want it to, you know, read to them. So I'll say, choose your style. I'll say, choose your style. So now for the style would be the color of the bling. It's only one size mug. So say for instance, I was selling the same exact image on two different style mugs because i do sell 11 ounce mugs i sell the 12 ounce latte mugs and i do sell 15 ounce if i was selling all of those mugs under the same listing then i would i would come down here and i would check for my second variation choose your size so for style i'm just going to type in the the color options that they have so whatever color bling i have on hand um, for the size all right so I have the 11 ounce and then I have the 15 ounce so now after you do your variations you need to decide um, are all the prices going to be the same for each listing are all the quantities going to be the same as well so now my price is going to be the same so I wouldn't check those but down here because I have two different size of mugs my quantities might be different and my price might be different so now if I have five 11 ounce mugs and if i have say for instance 10 15 ounce mugs i definitely want to check the quantities might be different and of course because the 15 ounce is bigger from the 11 ounce then of course my prices will vary as well but there's no price difference between the color of the bling that they choose so i wouldn't check anything right here so i'm now going to click save and continue and i'll show you how it displays on the next screen so now after you do that you'll come to the screen. So now I want to update my price and I want to update my quantity. In the beginning, I put $30, but that was when I had one size mug. So I'm just gonna now gonna say maybe my 11 ounce is 27 and I have five. So now my 15 ounce, I'll put $30 and then I'll put, I have 10. So that's how that goes. Whatever you're selling, if you have different prices and if you have different quantities, you wanna make sure you go into your, your variations and you wanna make sure you edit the variations and make sure that it adjusts and it reflects what you actually have on hand. So now you wanna link your photos. Linking photos is really easy and a must. You must link your photos. So you can link your photos either by the style or by the size so I'm going to link it by the style so now in this instance because I have two different size mugs but I actually only put one size I'm just doing that so that way you can see options I would list it by the size so for my 11 ounce let's just say this was the 11 ounce picture and let's just say this was a different mug and this was not the back but the actual 15 ounce I would click the 15 ounce. So now your photos will reflect everything that you're selling in your listing. And when they see it on their page, they'll be able to click on the 11 ounce and it'll bring up that image. They'll be able to click on the 15 ounce and it will bring up that particular image. That's how you link your photos. So now the personalization, if you have something that can be customized or personalized, and in this instance I do the mug, you would hit the button, make sure it's turned on, and you would just tell them, type in your name as you want it to appear on the mug. So if you're doing custom shirts where they have to put their name on it or their age or whatever it is, you wanna make sure you turn on your personalization and make sure you type in a brief description of what you want it to, um, how you want them to type it in. You can even limit the characters. So if you know that you're not doing anything where it's more than 20 
20 letters, you can say 20 letters max, and that's all that they can put in. Now, here comes the fun part, the shipping part that gets everyone, you know, hemmed up a little bit. You want to know before you come here how much your stuff weighs. Every time you get ready to ship an item, I don't care how many items that you are physically selling, you need to package it up, you need to box it up, and you need to get an idea of how much it weighs. So just to let you know, anything under a pound, a pound or less, ships first class. Anything over a pound has to ship ground or either priority, just so you know. So, of course, first class is the cheapest, and that's what we aim for. But, of course, it's not always, you know, an option. In this case, my 15-ounce mug, once it's packaged up, it will definitely be over a pound. Now, when you come to the shipping, you can have the system, Etsy, to calculate it for you, which, of course, is recommended. It's best or you can enter fixed prices manually. So, but for today's video, we're just gonna keep it on, calculate them for me. You're gonna put in your zip code, and I'm just gonna put in 28269 because I do live in the Charlotte area. So now you wanna select your processing time. Your processing time will determine how fast you ship out. Make sure that you know exactly how long it's gonna take you to make things. Customers like fast shipping. Keep in mind you are competing with the Amazons of the world and all these one day businesses that turn around and ship out same day. So of course you're making handmade custom items, but you might physically have some already in stock just know how long you know how long it takes you to make whatever it is that you're selling so just be realistic be upfront because they look at the actual expectation delivery date so they can see that on the end they'll calculate Etsy calculates all of that for them for the amount of time it takes for you to process the item and the amount of time it takes for them to get it so the faster the customers can get their items will determine if they buy from you or not so one to two days business days I'll just put that where will you ship are you shipping only to the United States or are you shipping worldwide it is really easy to ship worldwide some of my things I do have it on for worldwide because Etsy does all the work for you it is so easy and simple so you can click edit and you can select what countries you want to ship to and you can change it or just only ship to the United States so if you didn't want to ship outside the US you would definitely take off the US and you would only ship to United States. Uh, Etsy even lets you know, we make shipping internationally a breeze. Costs are automatically calculated based on the buyer's country. And we've got you covered on the customs front too. When I tell you I've never had any issues, it's basically like shipping to the US. They do it, it goes to a, um, a customs facility and then the buyer actually gets another tracking number where their item is transferred and goes through customs and then goes on to their country. So it's really easy. So we're just gonna um, do that. Now when you come down to shipping services, how will you be shipping? Are you only going to be doing ground, priority, express? These are your options. You have the US priority, you have, US, you have the priority mail express, you have first class, you have the international, express international, and standard. And of course, when you go down here to advanced shipping services, that's where you select ground. So I always include ground as well, because depending upon where they live, most of my listings are free listings, or they get free listings once they spend a certain amount. And if they live all the way in like Washington State or California, and it's over a pound, I ship ground. Um, unless they specify or pay for the upgrade for priority. But since we're only shipping to the United States, I'm going to take off the international. Free shipping. I'm going to click, for the purpose of the video, free domestic shipping. Because in my price, $30, that's a lot to charge for a mug. That's because I'm including the shipping costs in it. I want them to know that they get free shipping. And Etsy pushes the listings that have free shipping up higher in the rankings so just so you know when you list your items for free shipping your listings get pushed higher in the search rank 
Now, if you want to charge a handling fee, like for you processing it, using your gas, going to the post office, different things like that, you can hide that in. They will not see the cost at all, but I don't bother with that because most of the time my mailman picks everything up for me. But if you want to do that and if you feel like you're, you know, that's an additional cost for you, you can definitely do that. But I would just factor that into my original cost. This tariff number that goes with the international, that will automatically be applied if you're doing international shipping. This is the part where you put in your item weight. So I automatically know I have my 11 ounce mugs down to a science. It is one pound down to the nitty gritty. I know my box size is a five by five by five box size for my 11 ounce mugs. So I'm just gonna do that. It'll give you examples down here of um, different states and cities on it'll let you know exactly about how much it costs. But already, because it has free shipping, I already know that the total cost is $27 for the 11 ounce, $30 for the 15 ounce. So if you didn't put in free shipping, it would give you so just so you can see it, if I didn't click free shipping, it'll give you an estimated cost of from your area because remember, you already put your zip code in and if it was going to Chicago, this is how much it would cost. So if I changed it, if it was going to New York, this is so for, pretty much first class is the same thing. But just so you see, let's put in 15 ounces. So 15 ounces, so you see that price goes up. That's for ground. So now if I'm shipping the same item to Los Angeles, boom 1079 ground that's over a pound so anything over a pound the prices jump up so you want to definitely make sure that you weigh your stuff beforehand so whatever whether it's t-shirts whether it's picture frames whether it's you know craft tools whatever it is you're selling candles put it in the box make sure you weigh it this is a time where you would actually put it in and then you can actually save a shipping profile so i'm just going to do this and save a shipping profile so you can see but i'm going to go back up and click free shipping save a shipping profile and then you can name your your profile so every time i sell 15 ounce mugs every time you have a new listing this would be the shipping profile that you would have so that way you wouldn't have to input all of this all over again so if you're selling hoodies if you're selling candles and you automatically know your candles are eight ounces once packaged and shipped but you just sell different style of candles different fragrances you create your shipping profile for candles i'm hoping that makes sense i know sometimes you physically have to see it but we're only dealing with one listing in this video but whatever you're selling if you're going to be selling multiple items of the same thing with just different you know options different listings so for example t-shirts if you're selling all kid t-shirts and they all weigh around the same exact amount but just different styles you create your t-shirt shipping profile so now we are going to save and continue click save all of that is done and now you are almost done so now if you wanted to add your second listing your third listing your fourth listing you would keep going from right here but since for the purposes of this video we only have one listing nice with the flower on the side i am going to save and continue so now how do you get paid so etsy payments gives buyers the most payment option and gives you etsy sellers protection you want to make sure you read this. You want to make sure you go over all the rules and stuff to make sure you know all your rights and everything. So for tax purposes, what type of seller are you? Are you an individual or a sole proprietor or are you an incorporated businesses? For most sellers, like it has here already clicked, most sellers on Etsy fall into the category. So I'm an individual as well, sole proprietor sole proprietorship. So most time, nine times out of 10, that's what you would, um, that's what you would click. Tell us a little bit about yourself. For compliance purposes, you may verify your identity with a secure third party service. This information will never be displayed publicly on Etsy. So of course you wanna tell, you wanna fill all these things out, but you definitely want to enter all your personal information and then you wanna go to the next screen. Now you're gonna to come to the screen, where should you deposit your funds? You wanna just enter in your information on where you want your money to go into. 
whether you wanted to go in checking or savings. You want to enter in your information and you want to go to the next screen. So I'm not going to go any further. This is now the time where you will set up your billing and you have to let Etsy know how you'd like to pay your Etsy bill because you will have fees that will be deducted. And every time you get charged your listing fee, they need to know where it comes out. At. Of course, you won't get charged for your first 40 listings. If you use the link that I provided, you'll get your first 40 listings for free. But after that, they will be 20 cents. They will be a lot of other um, different fees that you'll need to read up on and check. And you can see how the fees work right here. It'll break everything down for you. So definitely want to take a look at that. But I hope this video was helpful. This was just the first start of how to start your Etsy shop, how to start listing your products. So now if you have any further questions, if you need any further assistance, definitely comment it down below, ask your questions, and I'll see if I can do a follow-up video. So I got you. We trying to get that bag for 2022. So go ahead, use the link down below to get you your first 40 free listings. What do you have to lose? Don't be scared. Someone will buy it. Trust me. If you have great quality photos, if you have great description, if you include the right tags, and if you list your things for the right price, you definitely have to play around sometimes so you can have an idea of what to do for your shop. If it's in your same niche, go and look at other shops. Take a look at their photos. Take a look at their prices. See how they're pricing their items. See what their descriptions are. Do not copy everything that another shop has, but you want to get an idea on how to work your shop. You want to get an idea of what price range you should be in. And you definitely want to get an idea of how you should be taking your photos. I'm telling you, if you have the bomb photos, well lit, nice imagery, if you have a really, really good description, great tags, and the right price, there's no reason why you shouldn't get sales so go ahead get out your comfort zone and make that money so whatever it is that you want to sell get out there do your research get your shop up and running today I will see you guys in the next video as always stay blessed and I'll see you in the next one peace